Hi, and welcome to another devotion. Thank you for joining me, and I hope today's word really speaks to you. This morning, during my quiet time, I was reflecting on a verse from Matthew 6, verse 25. And it read, Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food, and the body more than clothes? Just look at the birds of the air. They do not sorrow, they do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet the heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Can any of you, by worrying, add a single hour to your life? You know, I was thinking that many people are worrying right now. Small business owners, maybe even single income homes, with this lockdown and being affected and how it's affected them financially. Maybe school kids are worrying about their matric exams and they might be behind in their studies. There's so much uncertainty in today's time. And I see how it affects certain people much worse than others. Some people love being in control, knowing exactly and planning every detail of their lives. But right now things have changed. They don't really know what tomorrow will bring. These are the, some of the most uncertain and unsteady times of, of our lives. Many of us have never lived through anything like this before. This COVID virus 19 that has created such a roller coaster not only of our lives but also of the stock exchange and cancellation of schools and even the 2020 Olympics. Let's be honest, life, let's be honest, life does not feel steady or certain right now. But certainty is defined as having a freedom from any doubt and, it's, and to be totally assured of everything. So then the question is, what do you put your confidence and assurance in? Or more accurately, in who? We need to be putting our hope in someone who's unchanging and trustworthy. Therefore, we can only hope in one person, and that's Jesus Christ. We know that God, because of his very nature and character, that his promises never, ever change. If you want certainty, put it in God. If you want to feel safe, rely on God. God will not and cannot lie because of his very nature of being holy and without sin. And we know that lying is a sin, therefore he cannot sin. So we can confidently believe that any promise that is made by God will be honored. If we look in our Bibles at just a few of the promises, we should feel so much more confident that God is for us and not against us. In Isaiah 41 verse 10, it says, So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous hand. Another verse in Isaiah 54 verse 10, it says, Though the mountains be shaken and the hills be removed, yet my unfailing love for you will never be shaken, nor my covenant of peace be removed says the Lord who has compassion on you. So with these promises from God, what are you wasting your time worrying about? Trust God. Trust that He is in control. Don't waste a single moment or a single day worrying about things. Leave it to God. Perhaps at this moment you think or know somebody who's really worrying. So I encourage you, reach out to them. Share these promises that God has given you. Share these promises and give them that hope. We need to be looking around and seeing how we as Christians can help others. Help others that are struggling in this time where they may feel it's hopeless. Because we have hope in the living God. And so just I ask, maybe you even know somebody, um, give them a call. You might not be able to see them. Just give them a call, send them a message, give them that hope. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we just think of all of these people that are struggling right now, all of those that are consumed with worry. I just pray right now that you will lift up their fears, Lord, that they will see that they can trust in you. And even though we may live in a world of total uncertainty, that they can find that stability and calm and assurance in you. And so, Lord, we thank you for this now. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you.